we decided to get lost on Camino de Santiago and you know what? It's impossible. We're on the third day of Camino Portuguese from one place to another which we don't know where so let us tell you how it is all marked prepared and ready to go wherever you're from and if you've never been to this place or not there you go. good morning which day is it today day three let's go We have a plan. We decided to get lost on Camino de Santiago, the Portuguese way. This is the no map challenge. We are not gonna use any map at all. Here's the harrow. Let's follow the harrow. Oh. And here's another one. Show me, show me, show me. Oh. Can you see it? Can I go any other, any other place? Yes, but that's pretty straightforward. Okay. Baby, and now? Now, that way. There are Which two way? signs. Right. There is the arrow and the tile. There's another one here. There's another one there. Yeah. There was another one on the column. Okay, Let's easy. Go. Let's, Let's go. go. That's ridiculous. Even a little kid comes here without speaking and knowing the, how to read and, and write. And look at this. Look at this. That. And it's another second that that's so we have arrows, we have conches, uh, we have arrows, we have shells, and also we have those little hiking little cubes that you can know where the indication is. So we decided to take a detour through the forest. That could be easier to get lost over there. Back in my bag, yo. Conscious. I saw. Hey, what are you doing? Pain? A very bit. They what? feel, they feel the journey. What about the pain? Here. On the shoulder, yeah? Yeah. Neck, shoulder? Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? What's the reason? The backpack. The backpack. And the reason is also because you don't make me massage. <laughs> uh. Back in my bag, yo. Conscious, I saw down back in my bag, and I gotta brag. I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel. Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills. Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel. Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel. You know, I had to bring it to the hood like she carrying silver when she keep on turning head. Cause when she woke that thing, jiggle, jiggle. And we going back to back. On them like we here we and we rally this that back in my back flow we back again so highly and by the way if you're still not sure about directions and other camino info you can get our guide we just released a beautiful uh, all you have to know guide it's available on the kindle and as well as a pdf version and you know what if you're a member you get this for free so consider to be a member as well and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for Camino is calling! And one more time.
we found ourselves with this dilemma how to get lost on Camino de Santiago if everything everything is marked but anyways let's follow down we have another maybe three four kilometers to this place called Barcelos where we're gonna stay will we get to Barcelos or not this is to be revealed later on Don't trust me. Other direction. And a curb. And a curb. Curb. Okay. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Fantastic. Should I make a picture? We are truly convinced that Camino de Santiago can be done absolutely by anybody because it's impossible to get lost. All the indications that you have are those arrows, which indicates only one direction. But then you say, and if I want to go the other way? So if you want to go the other way, you'll find a cross. It cannot be more obvious, no? So then you're like, oh, where should I go? Cross or arrow? Cross or arrow, ta -da. How easy it is to find your way on Camino de Santiago. It's negro. No, negro, no, it's negro. Mata. Yes. 